Well, by now you probably already know YouTube is number two searching engine besides Google, but they are actually owned by the same company, right? So naturally as a marketer, if you want to grow your business, you probably want to start thinking about doing YouTube video. If you haven't started doing YouTube video yet, maybe that's something that you should be adding it to your, uh, your next project. So your question is, what's the difference between YouTube video and Facebook live video? And why do I need both? So let me put, let me, let me take some time out and explain to you. YouTube video, it's your evergreen content. What that means is that you just need to do your, your YouTube, your video once and you upload it, it's on your channel and you have their own link. You could share that link to any social media platform, any online marketing platform you want, and it will stay there and the data will stay there. Facebook live video, once you post it, right, as you post every single day, the fee is being pushed down further and further. The chances of you seeing this video and getting the link of this video um, for, for, for quickly, it's, it's hard. And for someone, if you have that Facebook live video and for, for you to send it to your email list and they don't have a Facebook account, they cannot see that video. They're not a different about doing a Facebook live video and a YouTube video is that Facebook live video, it's like a freestyle. You could make a mistake and you could keep track back or you could say hi to people because that's the engagement. You wanna have that engagement with people on Facebook live. On YouTube video, you wanna polish, you wanna go get, get into the point and bring your audience the valuable content right away because people's attention span is so short. So with that being said, in order for you to attract more viewer, more subscriber to your YouTube channel, it is a good idea for you to kind of edit in your video a little bit. But if you're anything like me who has always been scared of being in front of a camera, I used to be so scared when I hear people tell me to do video. I literally have heart attack. I get sick over it. I would never leave a voicemail for anyone if they don't pick up my phone call because I cannot stand my own voice because I feel as why would you want to listen to this this voice so for the longest time as I was doing Facebook live video one of my thing was I never go back to look at any of my Facebook live video because that very same reason I knew if I was going back to look at my Facebook live video I would never able to post that ever. I would delete all of those Facebook live videos. Now that I'm on YouTube channel, I actually have to spend time to watch my own video so I can do the editing. I actually have to listen to my own voice so that I could be doing editing. But how did I overcome all of this to listen to my own voice and actually watch myself in front of the camera? Hi, my name is Candace Bui Walston from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. I simplify things for entrepreneurs so that they could get out of the learning mode and start taking the right actions to build a profitable business online. In this video, I'm gonna show you three tips to help an introvert to overcome the whole video editing process or to improve this video marketing skill by watching and listening to their own video. <music> Tips number one, watch your eyes. When I'm doing video editing, I have to watch the video so that I can make sure the lighting and everything are in place. However, I am not looking at my hair or anything. When I'm doing video editing and by watching the video, I want to focus on the content that I'm putting out there. So, but I also want to watch it. So a lot of time when I'm doing my video editing, instead of watching everything, I watch my eyes. I literally laser focus into my eyes. Here's the reason why. If you were looking at everything, you were actually being sidetracked by your hair is not perfect, your lipstick is not perfect, the lighting is not perfect, this is not perfect. But if you focusing on your eyes and you could hear better, you could actually tune out everything else. Here's the reason why. Because most of the video, your eyes is the one that's speaking to the audience. How many times have you watching the video, you feel like that person is staring at you when they're talking to you, even though they are on the camera. So by watching your eyes, 
as you're listening to the content that you put it out there, you could focus a little bit more so you don't get distracted by everything else and then you decided this video was not good enough because one piece of the hair was out of place. Tips number two, listen with your eyes. You are probably wondering, what do you mean by listen with my eyes? In order for me to show you exactly what I'm talking about, we're going to go ahead and go onto a computer so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go to my computer right now. Here I am on my desktop. I'm going to talk to you about tips number two, listen with my eyes. Okay, tips number two, listen with your eyes. So what do I mean by that is that, look, this video right here, I'm about to do editing on this video. And when you're looking at this video, here's the screen, here's the way the video is showing. But I want to, when I'm listening, I'm not looking at this part right here. I'm actually looking at here and by listening to, to what, I'm, what I'm watching, if you could note, if you notice, these have some little graph on there. It, it looks like a graph. Those are your voice, uh, like a, the sequence of your voice up, down, and the tone. So when I'm listening to this video, when I'm editing it, I'm listening to it. I am not looking at anything else but these graph. It helps me concentrate on the content that I'm actually listening to so that I could edit it. Because if I was looking at the video, and I will start noticing things that I personally do not like. Maybe my cheek is too big, or maybe my lipstick is a little bit off, or my hair. So I don't want all of this distraction. So I will listen with my eyes by looking at all of this graph. And it helps kind of listen with your eyes. When you do this, it helps, real, it helps you speed up the, the editing process a little bit too. Because if you notice, here's the bar graph, and then you notice this place right here that have no bar graph. There's no, no, no bar right here. That actually means there was silent. There was no noise. I could just cut those out right away. So that's it. That's what I mean by listen with your eyes. Tips number three. Listen with your eyes closed. You probably go like, wait a minute. You just told me to listen with my eyes, and now listen with my eyes closed. I know, believe me, this tips right here, it helps you, it will really help you if, you if it's done right. It will really help you to start improving and start noticing things and start improving your video marketing skill. If you're new to doing Facebook Live and you still haven't had the confidence to watch your video, your Facebook Live video without criticizing yourself and end up deleting the video, this is the trick that will really help you. So this is what I do, I will wear I, a jacket or a top with pocket or I have a phone clip that we a phone with the clip so that I could clip onto my my belt or put my put my phone in the pocket so when I do that I put the airbox in and I will start listening to my Facebook live video by listening to my Facebook live video without looking at it I could concentrate on the content a lot better because I will not be distracted by my hair everything. It's all about focusing on the content. Listen, all of these three tips will teach you how to watch your video from a third party perspective. Let's be honest, a lot of time when we're watching our own video, we are not even listening to the content that we're putting out there. We are actually looking at everything else besides the, the content. But if you are actually put yourself in the shoes of your audience, your audience are actually listening to the content rather than everything else. So by applying this, you will actually start picking out things that you never noticed. So I hope this video will help you. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, share this video to whatever platform or whomever you think would benefit from this. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so that you could get notification when I have a new video out. With that being said, guys, this is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com. See you next time.